God bless you guys. How's it going? Uh, this is Brother Jared. You know, I got a video here that I think just might help with some of you. Uh, this is one of those things where, whew, Lord have mercy on us. We sure do get caught up into stuff, don't we, guys, with addictions, be it drugs, alcohol, women. You know, there's so many different kinds of addictions in this world. It's so easy to become a victim. Guys, I'm telling you, Satan is out there and he is just stealing souls left and right because of addictions a uh, good friend of mine Stephen Dollins um, ex-satanic priest a man of God beautiful man of God uh, he said one time and it never left my mind when he said this he said that Satan always comes through the back door he never comes through the front let me tell you guys what that means he's never obvious about evil. He makes it secret. He makes it something that you never really see coming. But he'll yank your soul right out of you when you're least expecting it. Uh, addiction is always a buildup. You know, a person doesn't become a drug addict the next day, but they will in a matter of months. And that's how Satan steals souls, guys. It's because we always, as humans, you know, we think, oh, well, you know, I, I can keep my shit together. You know, I, I can keep it going. I can I can just take a little bit of this and I'll be okay and you know and then before you know it you know you're drinking every day um, you're doing heroin you know stuff like that and guys I'm telling you man we're all imperfect beings you know we're all God's broken little children we sure are and uh, I've done my share of drugs I've done my share of alcohol and I'll be the first to admit it. But I'll tell you, there's nothing like the high of Jesus Christ and God. And I want to proclaim my love to God through this channel. And I want to tell you guys that there's hope for all of you out there. All of you. Whether you're a Christian, whether you're an atheist, whether you're a Jew, whatever. God loves all of you. You're all his children. It doesn't matter what your label is. But you know, with me, I don't even have labels. Yeah, I'm a Christian. You could label me that if you wanted to. But to me... Christianity is just a way of life. It's a beautiful thing, isn't it? You know, to not have a label. And um, I'm sure as hell not going to label people by their sin. I don't use words like alcoholic. You know what I use? I use a human. Because as humans, we're all fallen from God's grace. That's right. Can I get an amen from someone? We're all fallen from God's grace. We are all sinners, my friends. We're all sinners in this planet. But again, there's hope for all of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's hope for every single one of you guys. And uh, I'm praying for every single one of you who are struggling with addictions, be it drugs, alcohol, women, pornography, what have you. It doesn't matter. Because all addictions are the same. They're all evil. They all suck you. They'll suck your soul right out of you, like I was saying, guys. And it'll make you into someone that God did not create you to be. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Um, there's always that light at the end of the tunnel, guys. For those of you who are lost, real deep in sin, just know that God is always there. He's always there for you. All you got to do is give your heart to Him. So I want to I say a quick prayer for all of you who don't have the spirit of truth, who don't have the greatest weapon, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit. I want to say, dear Lord, please bless these broken souls their addictions Jesus Christ praise be to you God praise be to Lord Jesus Christ I pray that you will heal them of all their addictions in your precious name amen so guys I want to thank you for watching this video you know again we're all imperfect beings and that's just something that we have to recognize when you point that finger you know two point back and I know that's cliche and I know you've heard that one a million times but it sure is true. We're all sinners, guys. And I'll tell you one more thing. You know, God wants us to be happy. So don't feel like you got to give the alcohol up completely. Don't feel like you got to give anything up completely. If you can keep it in moderation, you know, I believe in, in doing what God gave us and not what, you know, uh, 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 um, the, 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 you know, um, where does even meth come from? That's what I like to know. Stuff. Stuff that's artificial, stuff that's, you know, not from God. That's no good. But, you know, marijuana, sure. In moderation, there's nothing wrong with that. 
you know, alcohol, of course, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, and Jesus, you know, he drank wine. How can I say I'm against it when my Lord and Savior drank wine? He turned water into wine and gave it to all his disciples, you know? The Last Supper, they drank wine and they had bread. I mean, it's just, <laughs> some, of you, my, some of my brothers and sisters, I think we, we just, we take things a little bit out of context. And I'll tell you something, you know, I used to be a Catholic quick story, and um, whoo, those Catholics, <laughs> they sure are quick to tell you what's what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. God bless my Catholic brothers and sisters, but that sure is the truth. And, you know, I'm, I'm non-denominational. I don't believe that God wanted us to live in sections, you know, <laughs> live with, with labels. Again, going back to labels. So, guys, listen, um, you know. God made you to be you, and don't let drugs and al alcohol keep you from being the awesome you that you are. So can I get an amen there? Amen. Praise be to God. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you all have a great day. God bless.